Gun playing pool? Or it could be... A goat. Fair enough. Email it at cbc at bbc.co.uk. We'll check out some of your emails after brand new School of Silence. We'll see you in a little while. It could be Jalapeno Tonju up to his old tricks again. <laughs> he is one of them, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Welcome to the School of Silence. This is where the noisiest children in the country are sent to prove they can keep quiet. <laughs> We're about to meet four new arrivals, but can they keep quiet for just one day? Ooh, I doubt it. how the day works. The new pupils have three challenging classes to prove they can be silent, followed by the crucial final exam, which will determine whether they graduate or will be expelled. If I think the pupils manage to stay quiet enough to pass a class, then they will bank a prize from my confiscation cupboard. But if I think they are being too noisy, oh. <laughs> They will get nothing, and I will know about it, thanks to this device, the Gobstop 3000, the very latest in noise monitoring technology. If they pass the final exam, they will take all the prizes they have banked and receive the ultimate reward, the Golden Gobstopper. However, if they fail to keep that shut, I will have no choice but to expel them and they will go home with absolutely nothing. Today's mouthy bunch are from Manchester, and they're getting in their last moments of loudness in front of head teacher Miss Gobstop and form tutor Mr. Gross. This noisy lot are seriously going to struggle. They'll need to keep it shut to have any chance of going home with a prize. You come forward! Name! <laughs> Khadija loves to bang pans all day, and her favourite sound is the drums. She thinks her team will beat their way to the prizes today. <laughs> Good luck with that. You step forward, name! Yay! If Jake could make a loud noise all day, he would shout la 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 over and over again. What's annoying about that? You come forward, name! Mohammed has a bad habit of shouting out silly things in class. He's not going to last long round here, then. You come forward! Name! <laughs> Went right through me, that did. Kane's favourite sound is the honk of an approaching train, and he thinks he'll be riding the Gobstopper Express today. Let's hope so. All aboard! Get them out! Please get them out! It's time for classes to begin. The first lesson, general studies with Mr. Gross. He picks the most revolting challenges for the pupils that get right up his nose. So, what awaits our mob from Manchester in their first silent test? Oh dear, Mr. Gross. I hope you're going to wash your hands after blowing your nose. And your hanky. Coming, coming! The IP yeah. I just had a bit of a runny nose, you see. But it's very important. But the runny nose, catch it. No, I want you. Bid it, kill it. Say, yes, Mr. Gross. Yes, Mr. Gross. Say, you're the best, Mr. Gross. You're the best, Mr. Gross. I tried, I tried. Right, where were we? I am Mr. Gross, your general studies teacher in the School of Silence. And you are here because you're very, very noisy and annoying. Remember, Miss Gobstop is listening at all times on your fluffy little microphones. She knows if you're being noisy, Kane, or sniggering. All of you, stop sniggering. There's nothing funny about school. Right, OK, look, everyone loves a dance, but it's too much. Time for your first silent test. Shh. This test is all about insects. Now, some people are afraid of insects. And as you probably know, 
Fear is the enemy of silence. So the question is, can you keep quiet whilst petrified? Your silence test starts now! Shh. So, for this game, our seated pupils must each face two boxes of creepy crawlies in total silence. Their teammates watching on the sidelines must keep quiet too. Oh, box number one is some delicious looking mealworms. Khadija is up first. Or is that a noise from the boys? There's a silent scream from Khadija. Oh, there's one going up her sleeve. Khadija is staying quiet, but the boys can't even look. Shh. What's in the next box for Jake? Oh, goody. It's some juicy, tasty maggots. You've got to hand it to them. They're disgusting. I'm talking about the maggots, not the children, obviously. But Jake is brilliantly keeping his cool there, and Miss Gobstop, she likes that. Shh. What's in box number three? Ooh, nice crunchy beetles. Oh, and there's a gasp from Mohammed. Kane heard it, but was it too loud for Miss Gobstop? Can Khadija keep quiet with all the bugs scuttling over her hands? Khadija is clearly not enjoying that, but she's staying silent. Well played, Khadija. Shh. What's in the final box? <laughs> what a reaction! It's got Mohammed and Kane running for the hills. Miss Gobstop won't be happy with that noise, though. Let's see what the fuss was all about. It's crickets. But they don't seem to put Jake out. Ice cool in the face of the crickets. Oh, they're climbing up his sleeve. This is extraordinary. Jake not enjoying that, but keeping quiet. What a professional. And your silence test is over! Yay! Oh, have they done enough to earn their first pass and bank a prize? Shh. So, even though insects are very friendly, they're also quite dirty. So do remember to wash your hands afterwards, OK? Your first silent test is over. But how do you think you did? What do you say? Pass. 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 That's what you think. But it doesn't matter what you think or even what I think. The only person whose opinion matters is Miss Gobstop. Attention, attention. This is Miss Gobstop. Courageous Khadija. Not a peep from you. Well done. Jake, you too were very brave and silent. Mohammed and Kane, putting your hand over your mouth does not stop me from hearing your whispers and giggles. <gasps> Were your noises enough to bug me? Class. Time for the results. Have the team banked their first prize? Surprised, but you won't get far in this school. That's get out of my class. Yeah, we'll see about that. Off you go. We're gonna keep passing all of the classes no matter what. So teachers are going down. Yeah. Attention, attention. This is the school of silence. 
I will now select the winning ticket for the prize draw. And the winner is... Me! I would like to thank our friends, the local music shop, for donating this wonderful prize. It's time for class two, Geography with Miss Adventure. She lived in Never Never Land before she popped up at the School of Silence. Can our pupils pick up another pass in her class? Shh. Gary, Gary, which one? Which one of you's eating Gary? Where's Gary? Where are you, my little sweetie? Where are you, Gary? Where, where are you? Come in, come in, young Romers. Come in, take a seat, Gary. I'm getting worried about Gary. He's, he's my, my special snake. Have you seen Gary anywhere? Do you know where, where Gary might be? Yes, yes? There. That's not Gary, that's Simon. Yes, Jake? This is on your head. On, on my... Oh, 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 Gary! <laughs> Gary is my favourite little snake. Well, thank you very much indeed. Welcome, young Romers. I am Miss Adventure, geography teacher. Welcome to my class. I I've got a great silence test for you. It is going to defeat you. It's 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 going to defeat you. Class, are you going to pass my silence test? Yeah! Well, we'll see about that because it's time for my silence test. Hee <laughs> hee. Shh. Every explorer needs to master an ancient custom. My expertise is, of course, Batumo, which is the ancient art of silent bottom sumo. The rules are quite simple. You just get 20 seconds to force the Batumo champion out in the ring using only your bottom. What do you think? Do you think you're going to be able to pass my silence test? Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah. You all seem pretty confident. Uh, wait until you meet the Batumo champion I have for you. All the way from Paris, France. Francoise! So, how will our team get on against the big Batuma from Paris? Remember, each contestant must try and stay in the ring while they and the rest of the team stay silent. Batuma! First into the ring is Kane. Your silence test begins in five, four, three, two, one. Batuma! There's the traditional Batuma greeting and meeting of bottoms. Kane is struggling to get his behind in front in this game, if you see what I mean. Did Miss Gobstop hear a chuckle there? <laughs> Kane's lost the bout, but will that chortle mean a fail for the team? Otomo. Next up is Mohammed. Oh, that's cheeky. And that's cheek to cheek. He's putting up some good resistance there. Unbelievable! Mohammed has conquered the giant croissant. But there was clapping from Khadija and Kane. That won't make Miss Gobstop happy. Botumo. It's Khadija next. The Grand Fromage fighting to regain his pride, but Khadija is up for it. She's not backing down. Oh, he's down! These youngsters making a mockery of the battling baguette from Paris and keeping quiet to boot. Botumo! Jake is the last in the ring. Oh, taunting the big guy now. Can they keep up their silence and bank another prize? Oh dear, there's more clapping from the sidelines. No! Jake's got the big man on the ropes, and oh my word, he's down, he's down, Francoise is down. But that round of applause might mean they've lost their prize. Your silence test is over! Yeah! Now, I definitely heard some noises, but it doesn't matter what I think, it's all about Miss Gobstop. Let's find out what the result is from her. Attention, attention. This is Miss Gobstop. Kane the Clapper. Clapping Mohammed. Clap, clap, clap. Zip it, zip it, zip it. Class. Has that clapping cost them a second prize? Failed. Yes. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. What a shame for you. What a shame. No, we've had enough of you already. Get out of my class. Out you go. We tried so hard. We're gonna win the next class.
Because we are Loud and proud! Yeah, but this show is about silence. Meanwhile, in the school's hamster cage... Hey, Judy, I was reading the encyclopedia the other day. You'll never guess what the most annoying animal in the world is. You! <laughs> Bang! Shh! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the school's performing arts teacher, Mr Les Prance, an expert in silent singing. But can our students stay quiet in his class? Shh! With one pass and one fail already, how are our pupils going to get on with their next test? Come in, come in. Sit down, sit down. Hello. Sit down, sit down. Hello. Yes, 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 yes. Hello, hello. 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 Sit down, sit down. Good, good. Shh! To teach or to oh, not to teach. Oh, oh, okay. So, Hello. As you know, my name is Mr. Prance, teacher of the performing arts. And here, within the theatre of silence, I will be testing you to prove that you cannot remain silent. You can't even keep still for 30 seconds, okay? So there's no way you're gonna pass this class. Remember, as always, Miss Gobstop is listening to every single sound that you make. OK? Are you ready? Yeah. Remember, you're working as a team. Time for my silent test. Shh. As a performer, it's very, very important that you remain physically fit. Your test is to follow my every move whilst paired together tied at the ankles. Remember. This must be carried out not only accurately, but in complete and utter silence. Right, my silence test has begun. Action. Shh. This four-part fitness session is designed to work out some noise. Can the team keep it in? First up is some star jumps. Oh, Khadija is off already. Khadija and Mohammed are both having a right good laugh there, but Miss Gobstop isn't. Oh, lovely technique from Mr. Prance. Jake is trying to shut them up, but they're both still snorting away. Next, it's the hula hoops. Some triumphant arm hulas from Mr. Prance. Can the team copy him? Uh, oops. Mr. Prance's hula slip causing titters. It's a deceptively sneaky workout. The team need concentrated silence to succeed. But no, Miss Gobstop's unimpressed by these antics. Next, believe it or not, it's skipping. Oh, Jake's down. They're all struggling to keep quiet now. This is a laughter disaster. <laughs> and it looks like Miss Gobstop has heard the lot. The last exercise is the medicine balls. 20 seconds to go. Is there any chance left of a pass? Oh, they're falling like dominoes and laughing like drains. It's an utter shambles, an avalanche of noise. Your sand test is complete. <laughs> so did our pupils pass or fail? Let's hear the results. I can let you know, in all honesty, I was amazing. You, however, I've heard less noise at a football ground. Now. It is not for me to decide. Miss Gobstop has been listening in, and she will let you know how you've done. Done, done. Attention, attention. This is Miss Gobstop. You are supposed to be working as a team. Gasping. Giggling. <laughs> talking and tittle-tattle. <laughs> Do you know the meaning of silence? No. no! Class? If they pass this one, I'll eat my hat. I'll eat your hat. Failed! Yes! Yeah. Yep! Will the new pupils please report to my office immediately? Get out! Out! Bye-bye! Yeah. 
Bye-bye! <laughs> Losers! <laughs> now we got to go to this chamber. With two fails and one pass, it's time for the pupils to get their reports before the final exam. So, can we put you through some silent tests? Shall we see how you got on? Let's see, let's see, hey, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Mohammed, you don't seem to be able to control your babble box. <laughs> Cheek, cheeky little chappy, aren't you? Thank you. But I did notice that you tried to stay quiet in your last class. <laughs> but you'll have to try harder. Khadija, the only girl. <laughs> a whispery giggler. But I thought you were a good silent student. And you did well with the bugs. Kane. Clapper. Even a little chatterbox. What do you have to do to graduate? Yes. 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 So you have one final exam. If you graduate, not only will you take home the one prize that you've banked, but you will also receive the ultimate reward of the Golden Gobstopper. If, however, you set off my Gobstop 3000 three times or more, you will not only be expelled, but you will receive absolutely nothing. L.A.P. Loud and proud! Loud and pathetic. Yeah. So, get out! That's rich coming from you. That's it really is, isn't it? Yeah. Noisy boys. Loud and proud. L.A.P. It's time for the final exam with the professor, world-famous inventor of the silent banger and the crunchless crisp. Will his lab full of noise-creating contraptions confound our team's graduation? Well, hello, my little noise pumpkins. Welcome to the final examination here in the laboratory. I am the professor, and today with the help of my assistant, Herr Helmut, science pirate! Oh, look, it's a hairy octopus. Attack! Get off me, you fool! Not in front of the victim! <laughs> the children. What will happen today in your final examination is I will pitch you against the power of my silent laboratory and some of my latest, greatest inventions. But if you make three of the bad, bad noises, you will fail and we will squish you like a science rhino. Boom! Ha! But if you manage to keep it so quiet, unlikely, I know, you will graduate and you will win the elusive golden gobstopper. Are you ready to begin? Yeah! The professor is determined to keep that precious golden gobstopper out of their hands. Hold on tight, it's going to get gungy. We must commence in dry, <gasps> zwei, <gasps> eins! I'm scared, I did a bum potato. Not again! Right, who's first? Who is first? Look at that, they're a plucky bunch, but can they stay silent through the splat? I think the first one is, <gasps> it's you. Mohammed is first. This is my animal pie. It is filled with some wonderful ingredients like giraffe sick and pigeon juice and panda doodoo. So tasty. Would you like some? Would you like some? Oh, is that Khadija laughing? Who do we have next? You, my friend. Next, it's Kane. Perhaps my greatest, latest invention, my beauty claw. What we'll do is I can give you a makeover from a hundred miles away. Are you ready? We shall begin now. Ah, the claw broke. It's going crazy. It is going crazy. Shut it off, Elmo. Shut it off. You broke my claw. No reaction to the blue gunge. Well played. Who is next? You, I fear. Now it's Jake. Look, it is my color flute. What happens is, is I blow the flute and you can see wonderful colors. Are you ready? Oh, of course, you can't hear it. I haven't put on your headphones. Here we go. And the other one. Lovely. Oh, you couldn't hear it. It has something stuck in the end. Oh, he's been cheeky in the past, but he's keeping it quiet now. But for you, I have something very special. Finally, Khadija. 
One of my latest and greatest invention. It is the silence laser. It can protect you from miles around, so you will get nothing on you. Are you ready? Here we go. It shall protect you. Go! Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Definitely some <laughs> giggling there. We try again. The, the silence shield laser. Go! I'm so sorry, it must be malfunctioning. Don't worry, my latest and greatest invention, my clean machine, it can clean you all up. If, if I know the professor, this is not the clean machine. Remember, three noises and they go home empty-handed. We're into the final 30 seconds now. Can they survive without setting off the Gobstop 3000? It's all right. I the machine is malfunctioning. I believe it's at empty now. Good, good, good. <sighs> Oh, the professor playing fast and loose with this team. And his gun's trickle has got a groan from Jake. <laughs> it's raining guns with seconds to go, and they can't stop the titters now. Stop machine! Right, that's it! The time is up! Your silence test is over! Yeah! Well, my little sniggering sheepies, how do you think you did on your final examination? Pass! And parrots might fly. Parrots do fly. <laughs> you don't make any sense. You don't make any sense. Your mother doesn't make any sense. Quiet! Right. <laughs> well, it is not up to me. It is up to the beautiful Fräulein Gumpstopper to see if you will win or not. Let us see. Fräulein Gumpstopper! They failed two classes and passed one, so with a prize and the golden gobstopper at stake, will they pass the final exam and graduate? Ah, Fräulein Gobstopper, how did my noisy little vassals do? Well, the Gobstop 3000 has spoken. You will be expelled. <laughs> a disaster for the team from Manchester. They failed the final test. Been expelled and lost their only prize and the Golden Gobstopper. Just how did that happen? Despite the professor throwing everything at them, they started off really well. It is going crazy! <laughs> but then the silence laser got a giggle out of Khadija. <laughs> and when the gun struck Jake, there was a flood of squawks, squeaks and groans. <laughs> The prof spotted their weak spot and he went for it. He's a professional at extracting noise and these kids just didn't stand a chance. Your noises made my Gobstop 3000 look like a Christmas tree. <laughs> it's nothing to be proud of. You go home empty-handed. Get out. Off you go. Now! That's it. It's a road, Jack. <laughs> 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 Hello again, Leah here with today's top stories from News Round. Coming up, the race to get oil off a damaged cargo ship and find out why the Queen's been giving away money. First up, hundreds of homes are still without power after heavy snow earlier in the week damaged power lines. Engineers are trying to repair the damage, but down in the south of the country, it's a different story. Millions of people have been told they can't use hose pipes to water their gardens or fill up their paddling pools and ponds because of the big water shortage. Big plans are being made to remove fuel from a ship which ran aground off North Wales earlier this week. Bad weather caused the cargo ship to get stuck. Now the Environment Agency in Wales, along with the Coast Guard, are working out the best way to get rid of the fuel. Some oil has already leaked into the sea, but the threat to birds in the area is thought to be low. The Queen has spent the day in the city of York handing out money to members of the public. It's a tradition that happens every year on the Thursday before Easter, which is known as Maundy Thursday. In the past, kings and queens gave gifts of food and clothing to the poor. These days, the money goes to people who've done work in the community. 
The injury John Terry picked up last week is much worse than everyone thought. He's cracked two ribs. The Chelsea and England defender picked up the injury during his team's Champions League first leg tie against Benfica and he was forced off the pitch an hour into last night's second leg victory. The win puts Chelsea through to the semi-finals where the Blues will face Barcelona. OK, guys, that's your lot. But if you want to find out why we eat chocolate eggs at this time of the year, then head over to the Newsround website and you can find our cracking Easter quiz there too. It's well worth a go. Well, that's your lot. I'm back just before five with Ore, and that's over on BBC One, so please do join us. It'll be worth it. Bye-bye. If you're an Uber CBBC fan and fancy a little something extra, then we've got exactly what you're looking for. Just press red on your remote, scroll down and click on CBBC Extra, where you can go behind the scenes of the new Horrible Histories trail. Join in the fun and press red. You don't want to miss out. Which Horrible History song is the nation's number one? It's up to you to vote. Could it be a comeback for Boudicca with her first release in 1,952 years? And they've got long boats, but can they get your song boats? It's the Vikings. Also in the running is King of Bling, Charles II, but will he be celebrating come Monday? Gunning for the top spot is vicious highwayman Dick Turpin. Will he stand and deliver the goods? Last but not least, it's the Aztec Priests. Can they survive the vote? We'll play your number one song on Monday at 5, followed by brand new Horrible Histories. Voting closes on Monday at 8.15am, so for more details and your chance to vote, head to the CBBC website and click on the Horrible History song vote. This Easter holiday, CBBC is going back in time. Are you up for a little quest, Donkey? scooby dooby doo You guys are like seriously old school. Blast to the past with our Easter holiday movies. This Friday, it's Scooby Doo. Where's my mummy? At 5:30 on the CBBC channel. Good day to you. I'm Hacker T Dog, and I'm Yonk. Horrible History's Gory Games is coming up in just a moment, but first, our revolving door is on the yonk. Yeah. Something's gone wrong with it. We don't know what's happening. People are sounding weird when they're spinning round on yeah. it. I mean, what is back there? I don't know. Everyone's coming to me except Jonathan the Easter Bunny with my Easter eggs. He is a fan. Well, this is what you've been telling us is back there. Lewis, yeah. hey, Lewis. Lewis says, I think that Harry Tong's evil brother's behind the door. Well, Jalapeno is not evil. Is Jalapeno Harry Tong's brother? They're very close, Chris. You learn something new every day. And this one's been sent in by Corin. Louise and Charlotte, hello. They say, we think there's a giant Easter egg back there. So An Hacker, Easter egg? Your egg might be there too. Maybe. I'll go and have a little look at it. It could be Jonathan with my Easter egg. In the meantime, I'll check out my favourite magazine, Volize Monthly. I wonder who the centrefold is. Oh, <laughs> not surprised there, then. Yeah, Barry, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, no, it's stupid, isn't it? <laughs> oh, wow, look, I'm on the moon. <laughs> hey, look. Oh, look, there's the aliens from Danny's house. You all right? <laughs> Look, it's Jonathan! I absolutely swear, seriously, I mean, I can carry one egg in my patch at one time. I can't just zap them down here just to let them on the moon and have me and everyone in the right computer things, does it? I, I swear, if one more person today asks me where their Easter eggs are, I am gonna... Well, uh, one sec, Barry, i uh, got a little, uh, little plug here. Uh, what do you want, mate? Oh, yes, I was just wondering where my, um... Where your what is? Uh, where my, um... Rock was. Oh, look! <laughs> it's there. My rock was there all along. <laughs> I'd forget me head if it wasn't screwed on. I must get back to the CBBC.